Well, I'm just up here at Whistler. Uh, I dropped my pivot off at Vorsprung for some work on the shock, and I thought I'd just come up here and have a look. And this is interesting. <laughs> a barrier. So funny, so check this out. How fitting is that? <laughs> This is interesting. This is super wide and a barrier, but the chairs are all on. So I was just talking to some lifty maintenance people and there's gonna be no black trails. The Garbo is going to open the same day as the Fitz. Probably just Unimoss and uh, Blue Velvet. And there's only going to be 60 people in the Fitz lineup, as opposed to 300. So they're working on the blues and the greens. But, so one of the, so I was told that it's probably not going to have blacks open, but if you look way over there, they're on A-line. And it looks like Lower Canadian had some work done to the berm. And, hmm. I heard no Creekside, but, well, I just thought I'd pop into Creekside here on the way home. And they were saying that there wasn't going to be any biking here, but... If you look way, uh, it's hard to see, but way up there, those are the trail marker things, like the coming across. So at this point, like, does anybody actually even know? Um, the staff here doesn't know. And I'm just walking up hard darkness. And no, nothing's been done here except, well, it looks like they've cut some logs out that were probably over the trail. So a shout out to the goose. They're on your favorite trail, goose. Heart of darkness. There's bike tracks. <laughs> and actually, for this time of year, and to have no joyride, course is kind of odd it's not kind of odd it's really odd oh there's bike tracks well i'm just on the bottom of crank it up here and uh it looks pretty buff all right well that was like a little mini tour of what's going on at whistler and not much fingers crossed but don't cross them too much.